Hello everyone, this is Aida in another episode of What to Listen When, a special program filled with love and romance. As you know, Valentine's Day is close. Usually, I'm not so much up to commercialize celebrations. But in these uncertain times, let's take the chance to celebrate and appreciate the lovely people we have in our lives. Love for our partner, parents, children, your friends, or even your pets. This time, I won't bore you with all the information, so we prepared a playlist of romantic music for you. If you are celebrating Valentine's Day with a romantic dinner, maybe this time instead of Frank Sinatra or Michael Bublé, you can listen to the playlist we made for you and see how classical musicians transpose their love into music. Even if you are not celebrating love, or you are anti-romance, or you just got separated, you still can listen to beautiful music. We chose some music combined with a love story, and as well some others that don't have a romantic title, but it sounds like the composer was very much in love with someone. Love stories like Romeo and Juliet, Pedro and Ines, and Shahrzad, or the Symphony Fantastic of Berlioz, which is a remarkable piece from the beginning of 19th century, bringing the ideas of program music and idea fix. We already talked about it in another episode. Long story short, it's about Berlioz being madly in love with an actress, Harriet Smithson, who he only met in theater performing Ophelia of Hamlet. His unanswered love letters resulted in composing a symphonic piece on a hallucinating diabolical dream. They got married after she heard the piece. To be honest, who wouldn't like it? It's wildly romantic. Let's say no more and let the music speak for itself. Hope you enjoyed the playlist we made for you. This program was made with lots of love by Carolina, Shilan, Enrique, Cristina and me, Aida. Stay in tune for the next episode, which is about the women in music for International Day of Women. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone.